Our guest this morning is a multi-talented award winner in music and television. The most outstanding show business TV personality, outstanding presenter, a composer, a songwriter, a TV and recording artist. It's a great pleasure I'd like to introduce our former newsreader, Noelin Hunter in our studios this morning. Good morning and welcome to our program. Good morning, Derek. It's so nice to be here and I'm, I just want to thank you and Nimal for inviting me to participate in uh, the Sri Lanka Morning Show once again. Noelin, everyone knows who you are and uh, things what you do, but uh, I think uh, it would be all right if I asked your past, you know, from... That's from all right. <laughs> yes. Now, you're from a very musical family, your mm -hmm. mom, your dad, Victor, and uh, your mom, Therese, they used to sing uh, at home. That's right. And Actually, uh, the two of them met in the choir, at all the right. All Saints Choir. Okay. And that's how they came to meet each other, and, well, there's music in our family. So, um, well, my dad used to play the guitar at home, and there was always, there was, you know, they didn't have any excuse for um, for a sing song. Yeah. We used to get together almost every evening with the guitar and some of his friends used to come over and we, we just used to, you know, sing and have a good time. And your family, how many brothers and sisters did you have? Uh, I have, actually, we are six in the family. Mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, three sisters and two brothers. The eldest and the youngest are boys, and then the girls are in the middle. So all are singers? Well, all can sing, can sing uh, although can they, sing. they are not professional singers. Yeah. My brother, my elder brother, Kelly, uh, he is a singer, uh, but he's not singing now. Uh, he used to uh, sing in a band called the 007s, which was the first band that I performed in as well. And, of course, he was with the first pioneers. I, I'm sure you probably know about the pioneers yeah. in Sri Lanka. He was a member of that group as well. Mm. And uh, he's the one who used to take me, uh, you know, for the rehearsals in, in, the, in the 007, the group that uh, he was, uh, he actually, uh, it was a group that he and some others got together and formed. And... Well, I was just at home and he said, well, why don't you come and, you know, join the band? And I really liked it. And that's how I... I got to interrupt you there. Now, the band 007, during that time, you would have been very young. And uh, someone told me you were only th about 13 years old when you that's joined right, the band. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yes. I was a teenager. Just so, a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> so, during that time, uh, what, what style of music were you doing? Well, um, I, I used to sing quite a few pop songs. And I remember, actually, my career started uh, when I went for an audition with Malcolm Andre. Uh, he's a well-known yeah. impresario in yeah. Sri Lanka. How old were you then? I was uh, 13 oh, then. Right, okay. Yeah. So I went for the audition because they had this uh, famous um, talent show called Elastos Moving Designs. Yeah. And one of my uncles said, well, why don't you come and, you know, uh, we'll see what, uh, what, uh, chances you might have on the show. So he took me for the audition uh, to Malcolm Andre and uh, I still remember the song I sang, uh, you know, the Beatles song yesterday. Okay. And um, so uh, the pianist at the time was uh, Patrick Nelson. He was one of Sri Lanka's top pianists. Yeah, yeah. Of course, he's passed away now. And um, well, uh, he asked me what I would like to sing. I said yesterday, and then he got the key, and then I started singing. And then Malcolm and Patrick both looked at me, and I was wondering what I had done yeah. wrong, you yeah. know. Yeah. Then he came up to me and asked me, and he was a very loving guy, Malcolm, yeah. you know. Yeah. He said, darling, uh, do you really want to take part in this competition? I said, yes. I thought, my goodness, now, <laughs> you know, I don't have a chance yeah. at all. Then, then, uh, then I asked him why. Then he said, you know, I think you can come in as a guest artist on the program. Mm. So I didn't actually take part in the competition. Yeah. I took part as a guest artist time. on the show. And that's how my career began, actually, professional career. Okay. Uh, is it who, uh, was it Malcolm who gave you a chance uh, on the recording side of it uh, when you recorded uh, the title? City of Colombo. City of Colombo. 
No, actually, uh, well, City of Colombo uh, was recorded after that. Mm -hmm. um, I must tell you how I really began singing yeah. because uh, I told you we used to sing at home. Yeah. So whenever we uh, get together, um, my I had an uncle who was a recording artist. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, a recording engineer. What's his name? Uh, he was Mervyn Rodrigo. Okay. He's, he's also a very well-known person. Yeah, he yeah. has won awards yeah. for his career Correct, as well. Yeah. And, um, well, he... Uh, whenever we get together, he used to record my voice and record all of us. Yeah. So then um, I used to, you know, <laughs> you laugh. Yeah. I used to stand there with the broomstick <laughs> and sing into the broomstick like a mic stand. Yeah. So uh, then he said, well, why don't you come and record this song? Because uh, he said that Claude Fernando had written this song. I didn't even know yeah. who Claude Fernando yeah. was at the yeah. time. So I went ahead and uh, I, I really liked it. So I went and recorded the song City of Colombo and on the flip side of that uh, uh, record yeah. was a song called The Girl Was Me. Actually, that is my favorite song, okay. not The City of Colombo. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I recorded those two songs. And the other artists on, on that were Desmond De Silva. Mm -hmm. He sang a song called Soul Believer. Okay. And then there was another uh, singer called Sam Nathan. I mm -hmm. don't know whether you remember Sam Nathan. Okay. He also sang another song okay. on that. So that was the first. Uh, but I got to tell you, Noelin, that uh, song City of Columbus, um, you did a very, very good version. And uh, mm. the recording can be played even now, you know, because uh, it's very well sung and very well produ produced. Well, I was about, I think I was just over 16 when I recorded that song. Okay. <laughs> Now, in your career, you would have uh, performed with many bands. And uh, what are the bands uh, you performed in Colombo? Well, I don't like to leave any bands out. Yeah. I'll, I'll just... The more popular ones, put it yeah, that way. Yeah, well, I sang uh, first with the 007s, and then, of course, I uh, joined George I. Studios yeah. band, Talk of the Town, yeah, for yeah. a little while, yeah, okay. and then Sam the Man. I sang with Sam the Man. He was the, you know, the, the Mo most popular, popular band at that time. Yeah. So I sang with Sam the Man and the Gaylords. As the lead singer? As the lead female, female singer, singer, yes. Yeah. Um, then, um, then, of course, uh, I sang with my own group. But before that, I sang with the Spitfires. That yeah. was a very well-known group but at the right, time, a yeah. very popular yeah. group. And we toured the Middle East mm -hmm. and uh, we went to Greece and, you yeah. know, countries like that and performed there for about five to six years. Mm -hmm. And uh, my first appearance on television was in Beirut. All right. That was in 1974 or something like yeah, that yeah. Uh, when, when we performed on TV okay. because uh, the Spitfires were very popular even in Lebanon, in Beirut. Okay, okay. So uh, we performed on TV there. And... Um, then I came back to Sri Lanka, and uh, then I performed at the Little Hut, which is a very mm, famous, famous place. Yeah. yeah, and uh, there I performed with my own group called Galaxy. Yeah, um, and I think we were about the first group to have um, have uh, you know a brass section yeah. in the in the band because nowadays they have the synthesizer yeah, and they yeah, have the synthesized sound, but yeah. we had a real brass section yeah, yeah, yeah. and we had good uh, players as yeah. well. And, uh, well, we had so many uh, good performers with, with the band. Uh, Hussein Jeffrey, he's yeah. now, he is, he's in uh, the States, yeah, he's big right. time, he yeah. was in my band. Okay. Then Joe, Joe Tambimuttu, yeah. Suri Kumavira Singham. Um, all great musicians. Mohan, yeah, yeah, all very top musicians yeah. and yeah. I'm, proud to say that they were in my band yeah. yeah now coming back to Spitfires uh, you all toured many countries what are the countries uh, you ha you have performed as a guest artist or with the band mm. I've performed in many countries okay. and I've revisited the countries yeah. on uh, you know uh, tours again uh, I've been I've performed in London I've performed in um, uh, in Los Angeles uh, in Washington uh, the state of Washington, yeah, yeah. in Port Portland, Portland, yeah. 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 Uh, then I performed in Australia several times. Yeah. Uh, then I performed in Greece, in um, uh, where <laughs> I can't even remember because there are so many places yeah. that I performed in. Yeah. In France, in yeah. Paris, yeah. yeah. Uh, then um, in Singapore, in India. 
various places. Uh. I've visited a, I've visited many places as a singer and also as a television presenter. Okay. I think I was uh, fortunate and blessed to uh, be able to uh, go as a television presenter on the presidential visits okay. to India. Okay. And I interviewed Rajiv Gandhi there, the former prime minister, the late prime minister of India. Uh, I interviewed him twice, actually. I interviewed him once at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Vancouver mm -hmm. in uh, Canada. Uh, and then uh, the next time I interviewed him in his office, in the Prime Minister's office in okay. India. And of course, during the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, once again, I was blessed to be able to speak and interview many of the top uh, leaders of different countries. Okay. I interviewed uh, the, the Australian Prime Minister, Bob Hawke, also yeah, at that okay. time, and um, the New Zealand Prime Minister, yeah. um, then the Canadian Prime Minister, then Margaret Thatcher, um, who else? Now? So how yeah. about the musicians? Any known musicians? Interviewing? Yeah. Yes, that was in Sri Lanka. I interviewed uh, many uh, known musicians who came on tours there. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, um, Cool and the Gang, yeah. Richard Clederman, um, Osibisa, lots of musicians yeah. who, who came to Sri Lanka. And also um, Latoya Jackson. Because, in fact, I'm the one who compared the show as well, okay. her, her show, which was held at the, the North Lawn at the Taj. Yeah. Well, then I got to tell you, you're, you're, uh, for a Sri Lankan, you know, your achievements are endless. <laughs> uh, it's only because of God's blessings. <laughs>